저 집이에요. 예. 타이니 하우스라고 그래요. 여기서는 어, 트레일러 위에 이렇게 집같이 만들었어요. 음, 모양이 그냥 그냥 일반 집 같잖아요. 근데 야, 번호판도 있고 그래요. Hi, can I take a video? <웃음> Thank you. Okay. Yes, yes, cookie. Cookie. Oh man. Thank you. <웃음> so, uh, <웃음> 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 김미다. Okay, thank you. <웃음> Good job. Uh, sure. Um, so I built this house. Um, it took me three years. I built it while I was still married. Um, was going to use it just for traveling, mm -hmm. but uh, now uh, divorced, live in it full time and travel around and just kind of looking for a new life. You made this by yeah. yourself. Yeah. Very hard to believe because it's so yeah. high. Yeah, it's a uh, 13.3 at the high point and then I put a 5 inch pitch on the roof. Mm -hmm. So then it's like 12.7 over here and 13.3 over here. So it's... Wow. Yeah, so it's 24 feet mm -hmm. on the bottom because the trailer is a 24-foot trailer. Mm -hmm. um, it's 8 feet wide. It's actually been made for tiny houses. Mm. It's made by Iron Eagle out of Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And they put what's called a drop pan in it. So mm -hmm. you build your own wooden floor system. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to insulate it in between all the, between all mm. the four joints. So it's chassis or access or for the tiny house. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's good. made especially for that. And they drill holes so you know where all your bolts go and everything. And mm -hmm. you bolt it all down. And it's it oh. really helps you actually not have to figure a lot of stuff out. How long did it make you build this? Three years. From the ground? Yep. I worked full time. Wow. And then I worked on this any extra time I had. So that's... It took me a long time to figure out. Amazing. Yeah, so I kept kind of paying for it as I was going too. You know, I bought a lot of stuff ahead of time um, oh. before I even built it. And then while I was building it, I'd find stuff that I knew I was going to need and I'd wait till it goes on sale or I'd find it somewhere and I'd buy it and keep it all in our basement oh. at that time. So this stuff or Brand new or the reclaimed? A lot of reclaimed. I bought a lot of things at the ReStore, which mm -hmm. is Habitat for Humanity. Uh -huh. And so yeah. a lot of stuff came from there. The flooring, mm -hmm. um, my floor here is from Humanity. Yeah, it's so it's real wood. It's wood thick floor. wood. Yeah, it's really thick wood. Wow. And then my walls are all made out of flooring and mm. I found a place, an outlet. Wow, shiny floor. and smooth. Yeah. Wow, so fits so all good. And it together, so oh. when you're building it, you it's all slotted, so it's real easy to put together. Oh. There's so many different kinds of wood in here, like this oh. dark wood, mm -hmm. there's that wood, that's yeah. really thin, and then you have this wood up here that's really thick. Uh-huh. But I only had so much of each kind, and so I'd go to flooring stores and buy out their... Uh, flooring that they couldn't sell to people because they didn't have enough, so people weren't buying it, but they it's needed to get so, rid of it. Looking so good. It's the colors. So yeah. good combinations. Yeah, yeah. It, it did. It worked out. It worked out. And yeah. I'm not one of these people who have to have everything perfect or matching. I just like to put it all together. And it's yes. a day bed? It's just, just a lounger. Um, yeah. And I then can, you I can, can take this pillow. There's like a big pillow here. I can mm. take that off and someone could probably actually sleep here. It might be a little short, but it, it would still work. Wow. I, re I really, I love this space. Yes. Wow. So. It's like the perfect sitting place. And then my TV is up there. So yeah. I watch yeah. TV up uh. from there. So this Lay is, down this and... is Maisie's favorite yeah. spot. Maisie, you want to come on the couch? Come on. Come on. <laughs> so cute. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> so you lay down here. Yeah, and then... watch TV. Uh, watch out here at the hills. That's what I like to watch the most is up yeah. here on the hills. Hummingbirds, <laughs> you know, sometimes we'll get hummingbirds. Wow. 
so beautiful. Yeah, it's like my quiet space. Yeah, it's a real house. Yes. Yeah. It's a real house. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your eyes. Pop up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a closet that I built out of a door I cut in half. Mm -hmm. And then just built a coat closet. And then mm -hmm. her dog food is in there and stuff. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a little storage area. Mm -hmm. Put in a bookshelf and that's where all my movies are and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, uh -huh. This is my wood-burning stove. Because you can't travel with the pipe on outside. So this is your heating system? Not the whole heating system, just one of my heating. I have two heating systems. So one's a wood stove, hmm. and then I do have um, a propane camper heater. Uh -huh. That's usually what I use. Wow. It's, it looks so heavy. It is very heavy, yeah. It's very heavy and expensive. Yeah. That one I got on clearance, I think it was up in Maine, and then I had it shipped down to Minnesota. The guy was going out of business, so I got a good deal on it. Is this stone? No, that is actually like a clay tile. It's just a thin tile that's fireproof. Okay. Um, I bought a, so this is a um, tool chest. I use it for all my silverware and kitchen supplies and all my... <laughs> you organize so nice. Yeah, it's... So I'm into health, and so I have a lot of stuff. Mm. Um, towels, wow. wash rags, and then this is my so beautiful. Wow. big drawer with all my pots and pans and everything yeah. in it. And then it locks. When you're going down the road, it locks with one key. Wow. So one key is locks locked. all the drawers. Wow. Yeah. And these are my spice racks, and they're just magnetic, and they just stick to it. Uh-huh. I need these kind of thing yeah, yeah they work good. great mm -hmm. wow let me see this heavy metal stove and heaviest metal drawers how do you think or oh, how much weight 13 did, two i this? have two seven thousand pound axles so fourteen thousand then what type of vehicle would be required to pull this something so, like this right so i have a one ton 350 ford diesel truck mm-hmm and it pulls it fine. What about since it's high, no obstacle to no, drive? Um, actually, as long as I, I kind of stick to major routes, like where the trucks go, because mm -hmm. I'm almost the same height as a semi. A semi is height is 13.6, mm -hmm. and I'm at like 13.3. So I'm fine as long as I'm on highways and stuff. There's nothing lower. It's when you take a side road, you have to know um, with certain apps I have that tell me how high bridges are and stuff. So you never hit bridges? No, no. <laughs> okay, good. You have to watch kind of going into gas stations. Uh -huh. Yeah, gas station. Yeah, so they you got to make sure that their thing is high enough for semis coming. Yeah. Usually I pull into truck stops and stuff to fill, so. Speaking of the accident, what do you think, what are the pros and cons? Um, pro is... Um, I have plenty of room. Mm -hmm. um, I just had seven people in here eating. It yeah. sleeps. Um, so this bedroom sleeps two people uh -huh. comfortably as a queen size bed in it. Mm -hmm. This one above your head, that's a single bed. So uh -huh. that's like my guest bedroom and guest, storage guest area. Bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, I've insulated it with sheep wool. Oh wow, that's expensive one. Not too bad actually because i don't like the chemical fiberglass stuff mm -hmm. and so i did lots of research and i looked at the the gene material mm -hmm. but a lot of people said that when you put that on your walls it kind of falls down mm -hmm. the sheep wool is so fibrous yeah. it stands up by itself it's just fiber mm -hmm. and you really don't even hardly have to tack it on when i was putting it up and even mm. the ceiling i almost didn't even have to tack on it just stayed right in between the two by fours and stuff mm -hmm. so it stays very warm unlike a camper that's just really cheap yeah and stuff the cons of it are i don't pull in wind because it's so high uh -huh. any windy days you're gonna feel it right um yeah. that's the biggest con mm. it is heavy so if you don't have the right vehicle you know mm -hmm. it's gonna be hard to pull but I yeah. met a lot of people with campers that mm -hmm. weigh more than this. 
there's really no difference at all. So gas mileage I get with my truck uh, about six, seven to seven miles mm -hmm. to the gallon. Mm -hmm. Sometimes on a good day, seven, two, seven, three. Mm -hmm. um, like especially flatland is real good. Mm -hmm. But everywhere I've been going, it's real hilly or something like that. But mm -hmm. it's no worse than I've talked to some other people, um, and they're getting about the same with less. Mm -hmm. Not very same. big difference. No, yeah. really, there is not a big difference. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. So, yeah. What about parking? Parking, um, well, you always got to plan ahead a little bit. You got to kind of know your towns you're going in. You know, you can always park at a Walmart, of course. Mm -hmm. um, BML land yeah. everywhere for parking. Actually, you yeah. have similar lands, and only just different is the height. Right. right, right. Yeah. But even some fifth wheels are yeah. just as high. Right, exactly. Yeah. Look at outside. There's not any trailer like no. this. I stick or out trailer, like a trailer, sore fifth thumb. wheel. Yeah. I stick out like a sore thumb. You know, yeah. it is because campers are campers. No one really kind of pays attention to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. But when I pull in, yeah, everybody drives by, <laughs> looks at it, takes yeah. pictures of it, you know, <laughs> want to see it. Um, so, yeah, I got food storage here. So this is my um, solar powered inverter charger. Mm -hmm. Right here is like my charger. Mm -hmm. So I do my readouts here. Yeah. So right now it's at 27.6. Yeah. Two solar panels. And that's all I run on. I, I'm totally off grid. And I've been doing that since I left Minnesota. I've never plugged ah. in since. This is my water barrel. 55 gallon. I can fill from outside with just a hose. Mm -hmm. So it goes straight into the tank. And then my water pump. And this is a on-demand hot water heater uh -huh. run by propane. Mm -hmm. So there's no water tank. Instantly. Instant, yeah. yeah. Instant heat. Good. Propane stove and oven. It's a bathroom. Yeah. So why do you know two or three Tub person? Shower. Yeah. Tub yeah. shower. Yeah. Tub. And then oh well, look at this. Yep, so, the beans. It's four by four. Yep. Wow. Yep, I got three of these here, or four, including that one. Four beams. And then it looks like you don't any care about the weight. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Composting oh, toilet. Compost toilet. Wow, it's so beautiful. Countertop, yeah. and then I made it made it into a sink. I bought this from oh. some ladies who went out of business at a hair oh. salon. My lighting system. Oh, <laughs> that is pretty. Wow. Yeah, really. It feels. Rear house. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. She so loves cute. her bathroom. <laughs> her own bathroom. <laughs> um, okay. I I got this at an antique place. Mm -hmm. So the reason I got this is because it's a drop down like desk. Wow. So I anything so, I can do. So I you can, can use sitting on here, and then you can write or read yep. letters. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. Use mm. my computer as a computer desk yeah. type thing. And then, and you, and you can stay outside and yep. keep going. <laughs> yeah, I just take my folding chair and bring it in and wow. use that. Wow. And then there's just regular drawers for storage. Okay. Um, I'll show you upstairs. Thank you. This is not a railing, it's just an extra piece of okay. wood. Okay. So I have no railing. I'm following you. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Look at this outside. <laughs> oh my. So yeah, this is. Wow. Wow. There's a rose window. Yep. It's a half moon window. Yeah. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, thank you. So uh, you sleep here? Yep. Wow. It's queen oh. size bed. It's just yeah. a queen mattress on the mm. on the ground, basically, you know. But it, it's a good wow. mattress. Wow, I want to lay down here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> These are old planter boxes, mm -hmm. and they had metal um, things in them with the plants. Mm -hmm. And I.
took them and I just painted the fronts and then this is where my clothes, all my clothes are. Bolted together. Yeah, and bolted to the floor. No worry, the falling down. No. What about these things? Yeah, these things I just take down when I'm traveling. I just lay them on the bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Swiss dreams. <laughs> yeah, I got lights on each corner and I got plug-ins. Yep, my little windows. There's a window. <laughs> wow. Rear house. Yes. Rear house. Wow. Look at this. It's so wide. Window. Yes. Wow. I, I put this in here. Whoa, it's not wow. an opening window, but I huh? wanted it just for light on this side. So I had light on both sides. Can I go yep, up there? I was just going to say, if okay. you want to just go straight to the other yeah. side. That's my single bedroom. Uh -huh. So it's the guest. Yep. Guest room. Guest wow. And then but I just keep my stuff up here. It's like extra storage room. It's space like normal house, small bedroom. Right. Wow. You can rent it there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I put wow. this window in here wow. and it and it opens if you want. Mm -hmm. You know, if it gets too hot up here or too yeah. cold, it kinda lets the heat in. Mm -hmm. But they can uh yeah. They can shut it, it'll be yeah. a little bit more quieter, yeah. and then this is a blackening shade that they can pull down and keep it darker in Yeah, here. and then privacy. Yep. Good. So nice. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, really unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> you're, so, you're cuter than mine. <laughs> It's a garage. Yep. So this is my front shed. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's a big propane gas tank. Yeah, I got four of them. And this is my outside pipe that goes on the outside of my wood burning stove. Uh huh. Yeah. So on the rest and then is just com is for water the compost hoses. composting yep. toilet. Yep, composting toilet stuff. My water hose to fill my water tank. Yeah, uh, just a big rug to go out yeah. there, and that's about it. Same. This is your truck. Yep, that's the one ton truck. 350 diesel. Nice truck. Yeah, yeah it is. It works really good. So this is wood siding, like five coats of glaze on it. So it's, it's all waterproof. Yeah, it, yeah. Because of this wood siding makes people the rear house. Right, exactly. Mm. That's yeah. my solar panels right there. Uh -huh. Right. Um, my roof is rubber. Mm -hmm. So it's just a flat rubber roof. And then that's my uh, sewer valve, or I just it's, I don't have sewer. I just have gray water. Mm -hmm. So I have a gray water tank underneath my tub. Uh huh. The vent. I imagine how much you had a tough time to make this. Yeah, it was, it was a it's lot so of work. There was a lot of times I wanted to quit. Mm. A lot of times. But on the other hand, you have good memory of what? Exactly, I do. Yeah. You're fine. So you keep going with this, your life? Yeah. I hope you have a beautiful I life with this. I really appreciate showing us your beautiful house. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs>